Howdy, howdy. I thought we could look at my memory card. <laughs> I thought we could look at my memory card before firing up Ape Escape. So I was shocked at how few things were on here, but upon closer examination, you can kind of figure out what happened. Maple's going to show that on stream. So not everything shows your hour count. You can't you can't get the hour count or or deets from every single one. Uh so So there's dot hat the first dot hat game on here. Did they ever I know that they released a Your name might be associated with it. Are you a clown? Do you really think that I would name my Persona 3 character my real name? <laughs> I sense clowns. <laughs> I did. Why? <laughs> um... I actually remember my my OG Persona character's name. I named him uh, uh, Izumi, and one of my uh, one of my Final Fantasy Eleven friends, who was actually was a Japanese player, we were talking about it, and and she made fun of me for naming him Izumi because she was like, I know that more boys are getting named Izumi now, but she was like, but to me, it sounds like a grandma name. <laughs> But yeah, it was definitely, I was easy me. I remember that much. Uh, I was going to ask, I know that they, they released HD for GU, which I think I bought. I think I bought on sale when they, for like Golden Week or something, they had a big sale on the Dot .hack GU remasters. But have they ever remastered the OG dot hack game so i obviously have my dot hack infection uh save file my og ratchet and clank save file my ico save file uh persona 3 parentheses one but it doesn't it doesn't say any details i wish it did i wish it gave like the hours or something but it doesn't uh, Guitar Hero 3, DDR Max, DDR Extreme, DDR Extreme Workout Mode. And now here's, here's where I think what happened becomes obvious. Final Fantasy X, you can see 99 hours and 26 minutes in the Omega Ruins, so I was like end game slash maybe I'd beaten the game already. But it has 05 next to it, which to me indicates that it was the actually the fifth Final Fantasy X save that I have. So I think I must have gone through at some point and cleaned up all of my extra saves for things that where I was just like I don't... I have a more updated save file. My old roommate dropped 150 for completed box dot hack part four. <laughs> I, I know I have the first game. I don't know if I have the sequels. Uh, DDR Max 2. A Tekken replay. <laughs> a Tekken 4 replay of Xiao Yu versus Kazuya. <laughs> I don't know what this was. And here's another one where I think you can tell that I had a lot more save files on here. Xenosaga episode 1, 40 and 41. So I had at least 41 Xenosaga save files on here. And I think I must have deleted the rest because these are the most updated two. Show it. I don't think I can just like pull it up. I think I I think I would need to have my Tekken 4 plugged in. <laughs> 
I think I would... ...need to go dig up my Tekken 4, which I'm sure I could, but... <laughs> but yeah, so Xenosaga episode 141 and 40. So this tells me I had 41 save files for Xenosaga episode 1, and I probably deleted the rest. SSX Tricky! And of course, Apel Escapel. So now I can load it up proper. But yeah, I was like, oh, I wonder what's on here. And then I was like, oh my god, my Xenosaga. <laughs> Tekken 4 stream went. I think 4 was like the only one I ever put significant time into. Ugh. Sony Computer Entertainment America. Oh, I wanted to. I wanted to. How's the neck? It's a little bit better. It still hurts if I if I move it at certain angles. So it's mostly when I like am laying down in bed or getting up in bed, then it's <laughs> annoying. But it's not too bad other than that. And let me know what the volume is, as well. It should be okay, I don't think I adjusted it from last time. Um... Yeah, I wanted to... I wanted to... To... to quick let you guys know about something before... Well, a couple things. A few, a few news items before we get going. I... I don't know why I'm nervous. <laughs> I think I'm just, I feel bad. Um, so I, uh, I, I, I didn't want to like bring it up, bring it up. Uh, cause I was just gonna kinda let it cook, but I noticed that one of my mods said something yesterday and I didn't want it to seem like suddenly they were like being harsher or something. Um, I had a few a few. <laughs> it was like not a one one or two time thing, it like kept happening. I had a few instances of people bringing up another VTuber in my chat in ways that were like, I don't know, that kind of hurt. <laughs> like people kept saying stuff like, oh, like I hope you have fun, but I'm gonna go watch this other person or uh, like, like, I gotta go support somebody else, and it was- it, it tended to be the same VTuber. And I know that my rules for, like, talking about other VTubers has always been kinda... schmooshy, because I- I don't take stuff super seriously. <laughs> but I, uh... Uh... But I- and so- and so I've always had the list in my rules that were like- it- because it was more of a... I made I made the rules as more of a as more of a like I I'm, I don't know what you're talking about unless you're talking about these VTubers. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense uh, because when I first started, I actually had a few people come in and use inside jokes from uh, like certain like hollow ENs that I didn't really watch and so I, it was it was more of a I have no idea what this person's talking about and I'd rather be able to be like in on the joke so if you're gonna talk about other VTubers talk about these ones um and that's why I had that list but I know that it was kind of not super clear <laughs> it was a little smushy uh rules wise and not like Suit, like it wasn't very prescriptive. It was just kind of like because uh, I, I was trying to be, you know, more like loosey goosey because that's how I like to be. But yeah, it just kind of kept coming up, and it happened enough times where it was kind of becoming a thing. And I was like, why, why are do people keep coming into my chat to let me know they're going to go watch this other person or? Or why are people coming into my chat and telling me to like raid this person who I don't really know? And it was always, it kind of, it kind of always was like the same one. And so it kind of became a thing and I was getting like a little hurt about it. And so I asked, I was just like, I don't want to like single out one VTuber and be like, shoot anybody who brings up this person. Cause it's not like I have a problem with them or anything. It was just like, it was just always that, 
that one. And so I was like, all right, in the interest of not like singling out one VTuber and being weird about it, I asked my mods, I was like, can we just like change the rules? <laughs> just have it be more of a general, like don't bring up other people like most VTubers have. And I asked them if they could like help me with that. Um, and, and so that's why, cause, cause I, I noticed that like, I, I saw, I saw one of them call it out yesterday and I was like, oh, I didn't even, <laughs> I was like, people probably don't know that I even, like, changed it. Uh, so I just wanted to, like, put it out there just so that there's no confusion and you're not like, Why is Maple suddenly her rules are different and she's being a pain in the ass? Here we go. <laughs> so I know that I obviously uh, bring up VTubers a lot because I like to talk about, about my dog wife a <laughs> lot. But yeah, I just made that <laughs> that change rule. Couldn't confine it to other VTubers. Um, so that's that's probably that's like the the like least fun thing. Um, you can just say your rule. You're changing the rules. It's your channel. I know, but I I like it to be like fun and relaxing. I don't like to be I don't like to be the the fun police. <laughs> um, the other thing is, uh, I said this, I said this a couple weeks ago, maybe in Discord, but some of my friends are gonna be in town, um, uh, tomorrow. Yeah, they're arriving tomorrow. It's not a democracy yet, but I'm a moose of the people. <laughs> Um, <laughs> a very long-winded story, even for adding a very normal rule. <laughs> it wouldn't be me without it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I have friends who are coming into town tomorrow. Um, I brought up in Discord. I'm still gonna stream, uh, even while they're here, cause they can, you know. Entertain. They're 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 gonna be doing some touristy stuff too, so it's not it's not completely like the Maple Show. <laughs> I don't need to be on call. Um, and so, uh, but but they're they're going to be sleeping on a blow up couch in my lit. That's taking up my entire living room right now. Um. <laughs> When I put it out, Syrup looked at me like, Mommy, <laughs> I know that we keep getting bigger beds, but this is getting ridiculous. Uh, and so, uh, so I'm gonna have friends here. Uh, they're gonna be here at the very least for uh, me and Kuduko's lore stream on Friday. And I've already told them, I was like, hey, since I'm going to Japan in a couple weeks, I don't wanna, you know, go on a break from streaming. Uh, and then get, go on a break to go to Japan. I'd like to keep streaming before I go to Japan. So uh, they they were like, "Oh, we totally get it. We'll you know go out, hit hit what town there is, and do some fun stuff. Uh, or if there's nothing open that late, they might be playing Smash or something in my living room. Um, we won't embarrass you in front of your friends." Yeah, that's what I was worried about. <laughs> I was, so I basically, I was, I was just like, I was like, you guys, you know, if you're here when I'm streaming, you know, you can have fun. Try not to, you know, yell any doxing information in the background if you get too amped about Smash or something. <laughs> and they were like, oh, we'll try to be good. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to, <laughs> to, uh, Put that out there in case you hear people arguing <laughs> on my stream on Friday or or at some point next. They're not. They're not. I think they're here less than a week. I need to ask for the exact dates again. I should probably know this information. <laughs> um. But but I'll still be streaming. Just or or if one of them like appears in my doorway asking for. Go where something is or something. I might have to pause and go help. Here we go. So I just wanted to, to put that put that out there as well. Uh, 
And I swear I had something else, but now I can't remember, so we're just gonna go. <laughs> we're just gonna go, rape, rape, rape. Give him a crash course on yelling maple instead of your navel in the house. I don't even think they would yell my name. <laughs> They're usually just like, hey! <laughs> P.O. Box update! I do have that! I do have a P.O. Box update! I should probably post that. I, um... I was gonna post it with the news that I'd shipped all of the orders, but I'm still packaging the orders, because I'm, um... I'm trying to write individual notes... Uh... For the orders as well, so... Uh, it's not like super fast, but I do. I, I'm actually like surrounded by packing envelopes right now. Uh, hey, full government name. We need more ice. Yeah, I'm surrounded by by packing envelopes right now. Um. Oh, I guess that's a good thing to update on. But I can start the game while I do. Uh. So first of all. Uh, my post office is very small, <laughs> uh, and so I I basically bought them completely out of packing envelopes. <laughs> they are 100% out, um, but they didn't have all of one color, <laughs> so I had to buy a few different colors of packing envelopes. So if you get the special birthday print packing envelope, please do not feel singled out as compared to the regular brown envelopes. <laughs> uh, just in case. Yeah, yeah, it's gotcha packaging. I want the birthday one. Um, so it's gonna be a little bit envelope gotcha. Um, how many birthday ones are there? One, two, There's at least seven that I can see from where I'm sitting. At least seven. Um, I, the crazy lady who bought all the packing envelopes, oh, they called it out. They were like, so I guess we're gonna see you again soon. And I was like, yep. <laughs> uh, so the other thing is there's gonna be a little bit of gotcha in the merch. And it's nothing like bad, but, and, and I was going over this when I was giving merch updates. My manufacturer changed their printing process. Um. They changed their printing process between when I got my my proof, like my proofs, and then I, I didn't get just like one. I wasn't like send me a proof in the mail, and it wasn't like one. Like I got like five to ten of my standees and my and my keychains and stuff for my OG printing, and then I they changed their printing process, and I got the rest to fill the rest of the orders in the new printing process. So the printing quality actually looks the same. I was comparing them because I was nervous. I was like, oh, I hope they're not like vastly different qualities. And it didn't like, it didn't really affect me that much because I think the main thing that they updated in their system was how like holographic acrylics work, which wasn't part of my merch, but it still changed certain things. Like um, the main thing that it changed is the size of the bottom of the wood standee. So the original ones were kind of actually small. I think you can see it in the picture, actually. I can pull up a picture. Um, the original ones are kind of small. Um, and the, the standee itself, like the part of it that's me, looks exactly the same. It's literally just like the bottom pedestal is a different size between the two. And it's not... <laughs> so many memes <laughs> in, my, in my list of... Uh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, so you can see in this pic, 
the the stand is is pretty small. The new stand, the base of it is more the size that I think you expect with like a VTuber like acrylic stand. It's it's the the size of the bottom part is more equal with like where my hair fans out. So there's going to be these kind of baby stands and then more normal size stands. And like I said, the printing itself looks exactly the same. The wood part looks exactly the same. It's literally just the base. Uh, I think they changed how they, how they calculate, like what size base you get for your height and width. So I think they're pretty equal. No, maybe not. There might, I think there's a few more big stands. I think the baby stands will be more rare. Um, but I will, I'm gonna like randomize it as much as best as I can. But uh, I just wanted to let you know if you guys, when, when I ship them out and you get them, if you're like comparing, <laughs> if you're comparing merch picks and you're like why is my stand so much smaller <laughs> why did she do this to me i wanted to to put that out there uh there we go uh yeah i did not mean to make gotcha mechanics of everything <laughs> it really is gotcha yeah all right bros let's whip out our stance <laughs> What is this? What is this, Jojo? Monkey in a hot spring is a cover up necessary. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, it's the RC car. Warp over to you. It's a car you operate by remote control. Learn how to drive like a pro in the training room. Want to go over to the training room to try it out? Uh, I don't remember the RC car good enough. I should probably train in it. Uh, but oh, I should probably listen up. Remote, remote controlled RC, RC car is an automotive, is an automotive gadget. gadget. Oh, she's saying things. Controlled from a distance. You drive the RC car by tilting the right analog stick. Attack monkeys and teleborgs by smashing the RC car right into them. First, go wipe out those teleborgs over there. This ape escape and JoJo's reference. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's hard to do both. <laughs> there we go. Uh, but yeah, so I just wanted to warn you guys so that you're not like, why is, why is people's stands look different than mine? Because, because some of them will vary, but the printing quality is the same, the colors are the same, the stands are like the cut, this, everything is the same, just, it's just the size of the stand. Small for people to pass through. Take any inferior merch, nothing's inferior. <laughs> They just, they just changed how they calculate the stand sizes. <laughs> Remote controlled RC car is redundant and I refuse to allow- oh, that's right. <laughs> RC. Nooks and crannies. I remember this is how I got a- over switches to set them off. See that switch over there? Drive the RC car through that gap. I think I remember the RC car. The car will I think I remember the RC car so well because that was when I was really getting in my in my I looked into Papa Moose being the Zodiac killer feelings on stream. So it kinda like it like created a strong memory of the RC car. Wow, you're a heck of a driver. You can use the RC car to pick up gadgets and items. That's a good thing to keep in mind, you know. But yeah, I just want to give some heads up. But everything, everything looks looks the same. Other than that, the the keychains, even though the keychains are supposed to be what was like the most affected by the new printing, they don't look any different. <laughs> they look exactly the same. So, so that those those ones worked worked out. No gotcha on the keychains, as far as I can tell. <laughs>
Wait. <laughs> That's what I saw! <laughs> Alright, let's let's get this guy's number. Use the right Lady, I know! I'm trying to get this monkey's lore. One second. The monkey cam. Is Ashu strong? Uki Ichiro. I do, I do miss the puns. Chubby Mo hates hot water. Then why are you at a hot spring? Kichiro oh. climbed a wall to get in here. A neat freak. <laughs> is that all the schmunkies I see? I think it is. All right, all right, lads. Oh, wait, he's gonna punch me, isn't he? <gasps> I didn't realize I only have one cookie of health. I didn't even notice my lack of cookies. <laughs> what did that? Oh! <gasps> Juice on. <gasps> Maybe I should use the RC car here. Hold on. How do I choose a gadget? Yeah, my trip is so soon now. Nice. Oh, what? I can't cross the threshold? You know, cause havoc myself. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Okay. All right. Enough time to get. <laughs> That's rough, lady. Still gotta do that shopping list stream. Yeah, I'm gonna do that like right. Whoa, that's not a monkey. I'm gonna do that right before I go. What? Not like this. Oh, cookies! Thank God. What the? Aha! Come hey. on, I knew I sensed monkey. Sense to monkey madness. <gasps> oh, I gotta use the car. I think. There we go. Uh oh. Yeah, the trip is so soon. I gotta. So I got. Like I said, I I I failed at Kirby because apparently Kirby is very in demand. But I, I did get a reservation to uh, Cafe Eorzea, which I'm pretty excited about. We got another neat freak over here, ladies and gentlemen. Uki Emon. Bet you can't snap this loud. What? <laughs> you wanna run that one by me again? <laughs> oh, this feels so good. Why am I coming here for work? Wait, who's the... What is going on next to him? I'm sick of the word clean. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, Kirby just seems like it's in super high demand, which is fair. I too. I too thirst for Kirby, so I get it. But um, but I'm happy. I'm happy having Cafe Eorzea locked in. 
I'm I'm happy with Cafe Aorzia locked in. I need to actually look at their at their menu. I like to <laughs> I love it. I know that going to a collab cafe seems like the type of thing where you would show up and feel it, but I really like looking at stuff ahead of time and planning, have a plan of attack, so that maybe I can order a few things and <laughs> take something to go. Or <laughs> I would simply have 17 meals a day. I mean, I think that's not. Oh, this seems like a chaotic way to do this. Oh, get rid of these camera guys! Here we go. Now I can focus on my prize, the little milady. Whoa! The little milady with a strong right hook. There we go. Uh, yeah, I like to I like to look at menus of places so I can plan. I probably am gonna have like 17 meals a day in Japan just because there's gonna be so many things I want to crush into eating while I'm there. But I'll be walking a lot, so it'll be okay. <laughs> Do you ever finish Endwalker Main's story? Yes, I did. I could not be doing the island content without beating Endwalker. You have to beat Endwalker to do the island. And I'm currently like 5,000 question mark XP away from... I'm currently 5,000 XP away from being ranked 20 in the island. So yes, I have eaten Endwalker. <laughs> Damn monkey got hands! <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I need to look at their menu. Wait a minute. Is there a better way to- aha! There we go. Yeah, we're playing we're playing monkey so we can get this sweet MGS3 lore. <laughs> Just kidding. I enjoy monkey by itself. <laughs> this bath is scalding. I've got the boat ready for Oh god, I was so good at the boat in the second game. To get into the boat, just jump in it. <laughs> to row the boat, rotate the left Oh and god. At the same time. It's impossible. To turn right or left, only rotate the analog stick on the side facing where you want to head. It's impossible. Oh, that was the other thing I wanted to try and figure out. I want to know if Oh, it's going so well already. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> Wait, there's a monkey up there. Boop, boop, boop. No, boop, 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 boop. Is this how I, how I smoke him out? Is this doing anything for you? <laughs> oh no, he's dead! Oh, nah, he's, I'll never get him now! There we go! Kimisa! Get in 
Mario Sunshine PTSD. <laughs> I really been wanting to play Super Mario 64 or or Galaxy or both. I've been I've, I've had the Mario craving lately. But I also feel like if I play a Mario game before Sonic Heroes, someone's gonna find me. <laughs> oh. I'ma get ya! Hold on, let's get let's get the boys we can get first. There we go. Uh but that was the other thing, so I I'm planning for my, my flight and everything. And I famously do not love flying <laughs> or air travel or being in any kind of transit. <laughs> uh, so I've been trying to figure out what I'm gonna do to to oh, oh, to entertain myself on the flight so I don't sit and panic into oblivion. <laughs> do you guys know if they have like, uh, oh, there's two of them over there. Has doubts about these springs? Just listen to me, would ya? Oh, I could ya. Gensa. Uh, do you guys know if airlines have, like, a movie list? <laughs> like, a list of the movies there currently? They're currently showing. Moose are not meant to fly, that's correct. Yo. Yeah. Not typically till you're on the plane. <laughs> Yo. Didn't they used to have a thing where it was like, we have three movies. Now, now everything's yeah. streaming, so they have like 50 movies, but I like to I like to plan my I like to have my plan of action be convenient, which means airlines are allergic to it. Well, cuz I think the no, I was gonna say I think the last movie I watched yeah. on a plane was Sonic the Hedgehog in Japanese, or Sonic 2 in Japanese, but I think it was actually Guy Ritchie's The Covenant was the last movie I watched on a plane. Uh, I actually bring your PSP and your favorite UMDs. <laughs> Just watch Doom 2005 on the plane. Actually, that's solid. I make sure I have it packed. Oops, I didn't mean to go back in. Girl. No. <laughs> Ow, no! I thought I was gonna go into the lava. Uh, but I... I mean, I like... Especially on flights to Japan. Like, I don't always watch movies on, on planes, especially because I like to be cozy and have good sound, but... On flights to Japan, sometimes you need to fill the space. And got me with a flat screen TV, yes, sir. <laughs> uh, so I, so the last time when I went to Japan for business last time, I think I've told this story, but I I was watching movies to pass the time because my 3DS had like run out of batteries and. I, uh, I was sitting next to my boss and I decided to watch Gone Girl, which I somehow hadn't seen yet. And if anyone has watched Gone Girl, you know that, especially the back half of the movie, it's a little spicy in a few areas. <laughs> and, uh... And... Yeah, a little sussy. And I was I was powering through it, knowing that my boss was next to me. And then I got to the scene where uh, there's like nudity and a murder 
at the same time. <laughs> and I was just like clenched into oblivion trying not to look at my boss to see if he was seeing. But I I like to know I've like I've wound up finding movies that I really like on planes sometimes. So I actually I need to go up the river? You guys ever play up the river, down the river? Card game. Like so. Did he talk to you about it after the flight? No, we... We sat in companionable silence. As he- hey. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on! Hold on, little guy! <laughs> Explorer King of Japan! <laughs> you most certainly are! And yeah, we sat in silence after that and tried very deeply to not discuss the film. Did I knock? What's the best way to do this? Maybe I need to shoot him off of there? be you what the explorer king of japan uh yeah i've discovered movies i really like like i i actually watched the first maze runner movie for the first time it was one of like the three movies they were showing and i was like well i suppose i'll see what this maze runner thing is all about and then i really liked it and i kind of walked out of the the flight like dang i really like that maze runner movie anyway and then i forgot about it and then I- the sequel came out, and I- Oh god! Nope, nope. God. And I happen to watch the sequel on a movie, too. I think the last- the last movie was the only one that I actually <laughs> didn't watch on a plane. Uh, so I, I'm like, I'm looking for- I'd love to, to get a list of films. Can I do anything with this? <laughs> well, it's a great for movie watching and enjoying a beverage. I just... I don't know, I- sometimes I like having the movie on a bigger screen, and I have a hard time, especially if there's, like, quiet talking in the movie, because planes can be so loud. I have a hard time hearing the dialogue, so I like it if it's a movie without a lot of quiet talking. Like, action movies are okay. But... Otherwise, I'm gonna make sure that my Switch is... Fully, fully loaded. Oh! <laughs> oh, there's eggs! Can I break these? <laughs> oh, no! Sorry to this dinosaur. <laughs> This must be paradise. It's about to be. Ready? Oh, there he is! I, uh. I killed the dinosaur. <laughs> yeah, I. 
I'll probably have my Switch fully loaded up. I'll probably bring my 3DS. Looking pretty good. Probably bring a book. I don't know. I get it's weird to get so anxious because it's like even on a coast to coast flight, which is only about six hours, I get super anxious. Like, what if I run out of stuff to do? <laughs> and I never have. I've never hit a point where I'm like, oh, I'm bored. All my electronics are dead. I don't feel like reading this book. There's nothing on the streaming service I want to watch. That's literally never happened to me once in my life, but I always get so <laughs> anxious. I'm like, I need to make sure I can be. I'm like, like you know the parents? Do you know the parents who who bring a kid on a flight and they pack like a full activity kit for them? It's like me with myself. <laughs> I am my own child. Monkey come, monkey go. Just sleep. <laughs> That's the thing is sometimes... Sometimes I get really I excited to read a book or listen to an audiobook or play a game on a film. Or on a film, on a flight! <laughs> um... Sometimes I get really... excited. I'm like, oh, I have a... book I really want to read, or I have a game I really want to play, and I'm gonna really knock it out on this six-hour flight. And then I sit down and I immediately pass out. <laughs> and then I wake up and we're landing. <laughs> So, like, that's something I can do, but it's not... It's not like a guaranteed thing. It's, like, sometimes I fall asleep instantly, and sometimes I'm cursed... Uh-oh. Sometimes I'm cursed to waking oblivion. Who is Santa up there? Mitsuro, I can make a huge snowman here. Saburota, undergoing cold weather training. I have a feeling there's Monke in these. Like, I like- if I can just pass out, that's obviously best case scenario. But, aha. Bunkichi. But sometimes it just doesn't happen. Sometimes I get in the most comfortable position ever and then I'm like, nope. I guess I'm just awake forever. So I need a backup plan. I need to know that I... I need to know that, that my inner four-year-old is not gonna freak out on the plane. <laughs> Monkey, it just sounded like a monkey. I can't climb these. I'm gonna go inside. <laughs> Trying packing an activity kit for my drive to see the eclipse. Apparently, on road trips, I just watch the road while in shotgun and can't sleep. If anyone has the windows down. Yeah, I can't do anything on road trips. Well! Ha! There we go. That's not strictly true. I have really, really bad motion sickness. Kichi puts odd vegetables in salads. What kind of odd vegetables? But you in a salad. <laughs> I get really, really motion okra. <laughs> I get really motion sick. 
Um. Ooh. Oh. Excuse you. I need those. Yeah. I get really motion sick on on road trips, so I pretty much have to. So I pretty much have to take Dramamine if I'm not the one driving and I'm going on a long driving trip. Because otherwise I'm destined to get sick. Uh, if I'm- if I don't have any Dramamine for the trip, I have to sit and watch the road with like- with a monk-like focus. <laughs> Like the focus, aha. <laughs> the focus that I have to have on the road ugh, when somebody else is driving is like, I trained, I trained deep in the mountains for, for decades to reach that level of focus. Cause otherwise, otherwise I'm going to get extremely sick. <laughs> But if I have Dramamine, oh, here we go. If I have Dramamine, uh, I can pretty much do whatever I want, but I need to take it pretty, I need to take it like at least 30 minutes before the trip or all bets are off. Uh, if, I, if, I'm on, if I'm on Dramamine, I could sit in the back and read my phone and I'm fine, which is crazy knowing how sensitive my stomach is. At least let me wear clothes during the rehearsals. <laughs> I like that the other guy is all... He's all set. You're mine. Oh, what's, what's the other guy's deal? Feels empathy for bananas. Frequently misunderstood. Misunderstanding where you're going. <laughs> are these wait are these are these Jesus? Are we Jesus maxing over here? <laughs> oh, do I need the hula hoop? Oh, I don't. I sometimes volunteer to drive, but I, I honestly get, <laughs> but I honestly, I sometimes get a little anxious if I'm driving other people, especially if other people are pushy. <laughs> if people are like, turn here. Hands and feet are always cold. You are in the wrong hood, my friend. Can't throw forks. <laughs> Is that a, that a skill a lot of people are lacking. The movement. You picking up your crew from the airport tomorrow? Yes. Yes, I am. I don't even know what time they're getting here. <laughs> I should probably figure out. To be fair, I asked they didn't answer. <laughs> so, it's not like totally on me. <laughs> sure they're busy getting ready for their trip. And I'm busy with apes. <laughs> I am. Yes! Gunbe. I am working tomorrow, so I kind of need to know <laughs> what the plan is. How good is syrup with guests? So she. She's weird. 
she... If it's the first time that she's meeting you, she's really nervous. And wait, can I get in here? <gasps> if it's the first time she's meeting you, she'll be really nervous. Uh, and shy, and she might hide. But then, if you stay a couple of hours, by the end of your first time over, she might crawl into your lap and want to hang out. Uh, the second time you show up, she's just like, ah, here's a person I know who whose destiny it is to cater to me, Syrup, and only me, Syrup. <laughs> uh, and she's met my friends before, so I think she's going to be just fine. This is suspicious, right? Uh huh. I saw the shadows on the ground and I was like, these shadows make me very suspicious. like there should be monkey in them. Maybe it's just a sign to keep watching out. Yeah, she likes... She, she likes people as long as she's met them before and had like a successful interaction with them. Then, then she will pretty much force her way into your lap and be like, additional warm bodies. <laughs> Thank you, mummy, for inviting the these gifts over. Looks like there are a lot of mighty foes up ahead. The tank's ready for you. The tank. We'll be needing it up there. To get into the tank, just jump in it. Tilt both the left and right analog. Yeah, you also can't sneeze. To turn right or left. If you need to sneeze, you better get out of the room the really fast. <laughs> a few rounds from the machine gun a squeeze huh give the right analog stick a quick press to fire the cannon press the r1 button to hop yeah i had somebody cat sit her when was it when was was it when i was at otakon i can't remember anymore but she uh she apparently was having like a really good interaction with them until they sneezed and then she was like this is my least favorite person I've ever met. Whoa. <laughs> I've lost the tank. <laughs> Back. Yeah, she does not like she does not like people sneezing. I think she takes it as an affront that you could make a loud noise and not warn her first. There we go. Need, need to employ some stealth here. Stealth mechanics. Qui bon? Uh, but she's she'll uh, she's met she's met my friends before, so I think she'll be fine. She is gonna be mad when I go to Japan for two weeks. <laughs> That's going to be a point of contention with us, I think. <laughs> but she's going to be with Mama Moose, who spoils her rotten. I keep telling her that because I think she's getting vibes. Just from the way that I'm acting and the way I'm like cleaning and prepping stuff up. I think she's like, something's up with Mummy. 
something's up with mommy. That's the thing, is Momomus is like... Syrup has Momomus wrapped around her little paw. It's so, it's so unbelievable. Like when I bring her over to Mama Moose's, Mama Moose like busts out like all the special stuff. She's probably gonna have her porch all set up for. Her. Is there any? Oh wait, there's something up there. Yo. Oh, it's just tassels. Did they do anything? I guess not. Anything else for me? Um, yeah, she busts out like all the special stuff. She'll have her porch set up for her. She brushes her all the time, which she loves. She pays so much attention to her. She, she says that she just has her. She, she, every time I leave her there, she's like, well, she has me trained. <laughs> She walks, she walks along and waits for Mama Moose to catch up so that she can continue directing her to do what she wants. She's, she's so unbelievable, but she always acts like she's about to go through the worst experience of her life. <laughs> Mama Moose will have her brigade of trained wild bears she feeds to introduce her to. I don't know if she's had a bear yet this year. <laughs> I know she's had raccoons. So I was there for one of them. I'm from Maple's World of Tanks training arc. So what's... So is, do you actually drive tanks in World of Tanks? Or is it like Azure Lane where you like collect and build and upgrade tanks that you send into battle for you? That you send into battle for you? This year? Yeah, I mean, they don't tend to get bears in the winter because they're hibernating, but when the bears come out in the spring and summer, they tend to get a lot of bears. Uh, <laughs> I think my favorite, my favorite video that they've ever sent me was, was Mama and Papa Moose were both, were both standing out on their porch filming a bear that was absolutely ruining their fence in their backyard. <laughs> Because he did like a flip over it, and you can hear Mama Moose going like, Oh, I hope he's okay! And you can hear Papa Moose going, He's breaking my damn fence! <laughs> you are the tanks, only tank controls. World of Tanks is driving tanks, shooting tanks, and getting sniped instantly! <laughs> War Thunder has waifus, though. Expand on that. <laughs> but it also has classified document leaks. Does- is War Thunder multiple vehicles? I was under the impression it was mostly planes, but I don't know if I was- <laughs> I don't know if I had the wrong impression of that. Any monkey? Oh. Secret monkey? Hold on. Hold on. Is Jason back? Suspicious. Yo. Suspicious of this, too. Yo. We got a surprise Jason over here. Oh, I see him. Yo. War Thunder is playing ships and tanks. Whoa. Planes, tanks, rotocraft, and ships. Yo. So do you actually drive them? I think I... <laughs> Jatha! Like Jason! <laughs> Jatha! And helicopters. Do you actually drive them or do you, do you just like... 
I think I'm so used to Azure Lane where I pretty much get the ships, build the ships, and then send them into battle. I mean, I can I can play the shmup, but why would I do that? I feel like there's gotta be a monkey in here, right? Or was I picking up monkey business? Makio, you're shining again. Oh, I see. There's... There's monkey on top. Uh -huh. Experience is driving tanks. Oh no. Experience of driving tanks is it's really big, really it's big pull. <laughs> Can't be the sweaty PvP or intense grind. <laughs> so I actually, speaking of, of intense grind, I was, ugh, as I'm as I'm getting nervous of wanting to make sure I have things to do on the plane. I installed Warframe on my Steam Deck. <laughs> and I haven't started it yet because the update took forever. But I I opened the client to to start the update and immediately one of my friends on Steam messaged me, oh no. <laughs> oh that was a thousand for the stage! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know what Warframe plays like, so I don't know what the oh no is. About. You have been saving your game regularly, haven't you? Be sure to save your game whenever you want to stop playing partway through it. Yes, ma'am. Don't forget. Look, you're in for a great first forty hours. That's so foreboding. Oh no. <laughs> I was just under the impression that you get like a cool, I don't know, like battle suit type of thing and you, you, you hack and you slash and you have a good time. <laughs> I didn't know about anything. Oh, a stealthy simian ninja. Stealth is my specialty. <gasps> new transformation! We're entering new morph data into the morph gear. This morph goes by the name of Miracle Ninja. It specializes in some very tricky moves, and it's fleet of foot as well. So be fast. The art of the ninja in the training room. Want to go over to the training room to try it out? The first big story arc is sincerely great. So there is a story. Okay. It's so cute! Morphing into the Miracle Ninja gives you the ability to get to places normal people cannot access. It's what Destiny should have been. See, that's what I want. That's what I was kind of looking for. If you come across a narrow rope or a wall with footprints on it, that's the cue for the Miracle Ninja to make an appearance. If you jump at the start of a rope or wall, you'll be able to walk on it. Try it out for yourself. It's so... The outfit is so cute! Alright, so if I jump... Whoa! And then this is the wall run. Whoa! So 
like I'm back in Tenchu. Well done. Okay, now here's how to capture monkeys while you're morphed. The IRL timer for crafting hurts. Oh, there's crafting? What's the IRL timer though? I guess it's like you set up something to craft and you have to wait a certain amount of... Eh, I've dealt with that before. That doesn't bother me that much. Give the right analog stick a quick press. That will let you bag the monkeys using the art of the ninja. The art Capture of the ninja. The monkeys over there. My ninjutsu. Oh my god! Oh my god! Part of getting new suits requires building them and they can take like three days. Oh. <laughs> I'm I mean, I feel like I can deal with that. Awesome. Now I'll teach you about the Miracle Ninja's special powers. Rotate the right analog stick to perform the doppelganger technique. This will cause two body doubles of you to appear. Use your ninja clone to attack with the combined force of three people. The presence of the ninja clones will limit the amount of damage you receive. Use the ninja clones to destroy the teleborgs the, over there. The Kage Bushin no Jutsu. Oh my god! Oh my god! This is amazing! Counterpoint, you can get mad discounts for the in-game currency, but you don't have to spend a cent if you don't want to. See, that's what I like. I like I like not having to spend money. The Miracle Ninja has another secret power. The flying squirrel technique. Hold the button in once you perform <gasps> the jump to execute the flying squirrel technique. You'll be able to fly far away and jump to high places that are impossible to get to with a normal jump. Try using the flying squirrel technique to fly to the other side of the valley. Woohoo! Are you gonna do Metal Gear 8 minigame later? Yes. <laughs> That's what I'm saving all my money for. Yes, we will, we will see if any more birthday monkeys have materialized for us. The Miracle Ninja Morph lets you run up walls, walk on ropes, do the flying squirrel, and more. I mean, now that, now that I have Warframe ugh, installed and all the updates run, I can just play it whenever. Here we go. I forgot how to do a transformation. Transform. There we go. <laughs> that. Yes! Oh, it's so good. <laughs> three? Oops. Well, there can be three of me, too! <laughs> How big was the insult? It was pretty big, but... It was pretty big, but... I don't know, I figured having something... Oh. Oh. I figured having something that would be easy to bust out when I... When I'm not at home would be good to have. 
There's cross save now, so I can move my Switch account. It's on Switch? I didn't know that, actually. <laughs> on the ninja one <laughs> she's like she's like <laughs> she's like this do anything here we go Whoa! oh i just heard a schmonkey i need to get across here before my timer Oh wait, that's a schmonkey! No, look at him! He's not even running! Fatty McFats! Every other fucking monkey in this game is named like... Jiro no... <laughs> Jiro no Uchi no Suke. <laughs> this dude's name Fatty McFats. <laughs> He's lovably goofy. One monkey with <laughs> with a, with a translated name, and it's Fatty McFats. I gotta take a quick break. I'm always typecast as a pushover enemy. You're mine. Show him what I <laughs> what I think about that. So you actually don't transform back until you touch ground. So I could have actually floated. If I really wanted to. Or God will never escape his fate. Yeah, I'm probably gonna... Uh, I don't know. Mm, I wanna bring Xenosaga 3, but it's also kinda... It's the type of game where as soon as I hit more story, because I'm kind of in the grinding section right now. I'm in the get more levels on your classes, do, do side quests 
kind of section, but the second that I hit more story, I'm gonna want to do that on a TV. So maybe, I don't know. I'm probably gonna wind up bringing Pokemon uh, Arceus so that I can finish up the post game stuff and that before we get, before we get Z. Obviously not gonna be playing games the whole time. <laughs> I just need for like the flight and per per chance my Shinkansen. My Shinkansen. It's like a Wiscansen. But it goes way fast. Bubbazo. Dropped a cookie and it went over the edge. Oh yeah, the Scarlet and Violet raids. I uh, after we after we did the woo, the Meganium raid, I actually joined a bunch of random people and. I helped a few, like, obvious kids <laughs> clear the Meganium raid! <laughs> uh, with the... Uh... With the... the... The, the, the ghost schmunky. Cuz, uh... Every time I joined a raid, there were... At least, like, one or two who were using the starter, like, fire crocodile. And they were like using him, and and they had him, like, uh, terrest terresti ter terrestrializing into the fire type, and I was like, honeys, <laughs> this is not what this is. So I was just coming and just blasted up with the with ghost monkey. Uh, and I was able to get a couple of wins like that, and I was like, these poor kids. <laughs> Let them cook. That thing was so hard, though. Not with fire terror? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it was always fire terror, so I think it was just... I think it was just kiddos who wanted to use their starter Pokemon. <laughs> to fight in the raid and I was like, no. Does he love me? What's going on? Wait, what happened here? Monkey Beth. Wait, what's his lore? I need Monkey Beth's lore. This. Oh, there you go. Oh my god! Wait, are we about to. Oh, I thought I was gonna go down! <laughs> I will go down with this ship. Okay, so I got them. Should be good. Get rid of the interlopers first.
Oops! You got your gadget snatched by a monkey, didn't you? You're in luck. Whenever you come back here, your gadgets will also come back with you. You see, gadgets are fitted with special sensors. Waste! <laughs> but be more careful next time anyway, okay? Yes. Lady. I'm gonna buy- I'm actually gonna buy some cookies really fast because I'm running a little low. Oh my god, I can't believe I got- I can't believe I got taken out. Can't believe I got. Oops. Can't believe I got escaped by an ape. Oh my god. Well, I kept I kept a bunch of them. I kept a bunch of the, the monkeys. Only two more monkeys. Okay. Got monkeyed. Here I go. This time the apes escaped me. <laughs> yes, yes, I know what it looks like. I've been here before. Bush is where are the monkeys. What's the deal when I can see the little monkey on the Aki cam? Does that mean there is a monkey in the area, but he's hidden, maybe? Still sounds like the twitch noise to me. I just gotta get back all the way to where I was. Oh wait, there's a monkey here. Monimpo. Oh shit. What was that? Oh. Robot boys. Long Kunoichi Maxi. <laughs> how many? How many boss monkeys are there? Oh, I think they're back. I thought there was like five in the first game. Woohoo! Somebody just sound the horns of war for me. There's a monkey in the pots. Stream. 
seeing the second movie. I want to read the book, but, but the vi <laughs> The video that was posted in Discord earlier really like devastated me. Sometimes, sometimes when I'm working, I especially, oh, did I miss this guy before? Thanks. Child! Hey, yo, hey, 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 what's up? Hey, hey, what's up? 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 I remember like all my friends read Dune tell me there are six Dune books. I've heard that some of the later ones get a little weird, but I'm still down to clown. Uh, yeah, sometimes when I'm working, especially if like the meet- oh, Monkey Yellow! If the meeting like veers off track and people are talking about something that doesn't have anything to do with me. And I'm on Zoom, I'll like secretly look at other stuff <laughs> instead of just sitting and spacing out and there's been a few who are you oh he's here oh dear <laughs> have a nice thing you want tv well i don't know maybe oh i do so hate you cutesy type <laughs> Oh, really? Is that so? Hmm, you must just love yourself then. Well, now, <laughs> quite sure of yourself, aren't you? <laughs> well, there are plenty of prettier girls than you, you know. Oh, yeah? Have you seen my ratings lately? <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen your waistline lately? Check your ratings again after the paparazzi get a shot of that. <clears throat> oh, but that doesn't matter now. Dr. Spectre has asked that I take care of you here and now. <laughs> well, come on. Let's see what you got. Oh, dear, dear, dear. You're losing that cutesy image. <laughs> Don't underestimate me. You'll never win. Transform! <laughs> Time to get for real, oh god! Oh! Whoop! Uh oh. Oh god! Oh god! Oh my god, she done it so fast! I need my, I need my transformation. Oh, I see. And then get up here. Get to sh Oh, I see, no! Here I go. Get 
on the rope. <laughs> Woohoo! I'm gonna get ya! A shmunky yellow. Uh, but yeah, I like, I'll look at other stuff. I've definitely had near misses where we're talking about something that is not at all amusing and I'll see something really funny or I'll remember something really funny. Especially if people are like posting funny stuff in the Discord and I'll see it and I'll be like, I'll be on camera like... <laughs> They've taken out yellow. What now, Tomoki? <laughs> Tomoki? This guy? Where is your mind at? Hey, can you hear me? Oh, Spectre, baby! I can hear you just fine, sweetie. Those pesky humans have gotten yellow. Uh, you mean that fat, I mean, monkey yellow? No way! Well, it serves him right. Whoa! Oh, showing off like that, trying to outdo me. Well, the next time I meet him, I'll... Uh, pink. Whoops! Was I thinking out loud again? I really need to stop doing that. Listen up. New orders. You cannot let those humans get by you. Oh, baby, you know I've got a rehearsal after this. Baby? Well, just who do you think you're talking to? Baby. Welcome back. Hope that new morph came in handy. Girl, you don't even know. <laughs> I'm gonna load up some new morph data for you to have fun with. But dear me, that monkey yellow. Oh my, that was one really weird body. Yeah, well, the one that was really getting me... The one that was really getting me, uh... I posted it yesterday. Oh, the makeup tutorial almost took me out when I... <laughs> the... <laughs> the Katniss Everdeen makeup tutorial <laughs> where the subtitle says we're going to use a black eyeshadow to represent the coal mines that her father was smashed to death in. <laughs> I saw that when I was in it. <laughs> I almost fell apart over it. The other one... The other one that I saw when I was on a work Zoom and I was trying desperately to hold it together and failing. Standard issue Tumblr usernames. One Tumblr Tumblr account that I see quite a bit is Amtrak official, <laughs> which is obviously not Amtrak. But now, but now I'm gonna be struggling. I'm gonna be struggling tomorrow with. Fuck out of here, old head! <laughs> Every time I think about it, I'm gonna lose my mind. Monkey expedition sets off. Evening ape drama. This looks like my least favorite Overwatch map. Yumi, 
Here's another gadget. I'm going to warp over to you. Ah, the Skyfly. Sky Use it to soar high up into the sky. Learn how to fly like an eagle in the training room. Want to go over to the training room to try it out? Don't remember this one that well. Probably because it was. I think this one came in near the end of the game last time. Give the right analog stick a spin. The more you spin it, the longer you'll stay along. If a place looks too high to jump up to, that's when it's time to bring out your sky flyer. Like so. Okay. Flight. Now, see if you can fly over to the other side of the valley. First, go step onto that raised area and rotate the right analog stick for me. Once you sweep off the ground, tilt the left analog stick to fly up, up, and away. The trick is to keep spinning the right analog stick while you're in the air. Okay. So, like... I feel like even if I'm, I feel like maybe I'm not spinning it fast enough, but I feel like I'm not spinning it fast enough. <laughs> I also, I also in the middle of a meeting once got, uh, what are those called? Intrusive thoughts. I got intrusive thought slammed by, are you familiar with big chunkers? <laughs> <laughs> and I was trying to keep it together. So they like, keep it together, Maple. Keep it together! Don't let anyone know you're thinking about Liquid Snake saying big chunk is. The Dune vid did hit me very You have plants within your pants. <laughs> oh shit! Wait, Schmunky. Hold on, I think this is gonna need some careful timing over here. Three point four seconds. Oh. Did I get him? <laughs> it said I got him, but that didn't look very convincing. Oh, and action. Forgot to tie a lifeline. Oh, he's dead. You are transparent. I see you many things. Yeah, he's gone. Save him. There you go. <laughs> I was like, I'm not coming down until you're gone. <laughs> One of us has to go home and change. How much? I only needed... Pretty sure there's a schmonky in there. I only needed... Konami. I only needed 573 coins, right? So I can stop hoarding so much, perhaps. Get out of there. Cholmon. <laughs> doki doki. Whoa. Whoa. 
I did try. Oh God! It's fine. Just leave. Just leave. <laughs> ah, I'm not <missing> anyone. <laughs> there he is, ladies and gentlemen. trying to find a copy of uh, Subsistence, MGS3 Subsistence, at one of my local retro stores so that I can play the Ape Escape minigame in that, but no luck yet. Maybe when my friends are- <laughs> maybe when my friends are here I can uh, convince them to go on a journey with me. Oh, can you come down? No. Maybe I can convince them to, to go on a journey for apes with me. You can always get it online. Oh god, there's more of these things. How do you beat this? Maybe... I can move with that. Oh shit! Can I hit them? <gasps> Understood. Schmunkin! Series of events for me. Yo, 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 Can be rootin' tootin'. And by God, I will be shootin'. Hey, hey, yeah, 
Michino. Michino? Like the Pokemon? Yeah, I I do. I mean, I don't I don't mind having MGS3 physically either, so that's also kind of part of it. But yeah, I I'm gonna go. I'll I'll try and convince my friends to go on a a retro journey with me. See if we can't find it before before the trip. Do I want to push this in? Ah. going. Whoa. I can't tell if this is just a movie set <laughs> or if this is a thing that is he's an angel! <laughs> sure to be a hit someday. Here are you hit with me, baby boy. Oh, two, we got two angels now. <laughs> he has a little Cuban bow. Ah! Hold on, we're gonna go the hard way. Oh, good grief. <gasps> but there's an extra life over here. There we go. They're like, are we sure this is a movie set? And before you find Snake Eater 3DS first. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past Grandpa. So nerve-wracking. Okay. Ochimo! What's this guy's deal? Oh, wait! No, that's the same dude! Was that no another monkey I just grabbed? Oh, this is... Oh, he's got- he's got jumps. <laughs> I was like, am I about to throw myself off the edge? <laughs> Let's get this. Ooh! You can't fly by backstroke. He's struggling. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Would be the best. Whoa! Perhaps this is another... Another cowboy. What is gonna get you out of the air? Nothing? You just can't come down! Oh my god! Well, okay. If that's how it's gonna be... <laughs> Wish is serious. What was the last Ape Escape game? Was there like a PSP one or anything before? There's another one. I wonder if I could... I wonder if I could use this. Oops. Oh, that got him. Hey! Hey! 
미끄리 There are a couple PSP ones, then maybe a PS3 minigame compilation? I remember the name Million Monkeys. PlayStation Move game. What was- the move was PS3? Uh-oh. Let's <laughs> just leave! I wanna get into this big globe. <gasps> One of these boxes, perchance, have a single cookie. Uh oh. Get him, Camino! <laughs> PlayStation Move Ape Escape release in 2010. Wait, hold on, I'm... Because obviously Apescape 1 is PS1. You really got quite a workout there. Ape Escape! Ape Escape 2. PS2. Ape Escape on the loose. PSP. On the loose. Why does that art look so different? <laughs> The art for Ape Escape on the Loose is like... Really weird. <laughs> or maybe- or maybe I'm looking- is this the- oh no, this is the original PlayStation box. The OG PlayStation box looks really different. An Ape Escape 2001, which is Japan only. Ape Escape Million Monkeys, which is also Japan only. I like how the, the logo kind of looks like EDF for that one. Ape Escape Racing PSP, Japan only. Ape Escape Saru Saru Big Mission, which is PSP, Japan only. An Ape Quest. PSP. Oh, wait, it was released in North America and Europe, but only on the PlayStation Store. And then it was a UMD in Japan. It's a role playing game? Then there's party games Ape Escape, Pumped and Primed. Which is a mini, yeah, that's a party game. I Toy Monkey Mania, Ape Escape Academy, 47 mini games, Ape Academy 2, and then PlayStation Move Ape Escape, which is 2010. In Japan, it was released as Furi Furi Saru Gichu. <laughs> Is a 2010 rail shooter? What? <laughs> a 2010 rail shooter? These monkeys are- we're shooting these monkeys on rails now! <laughs> Do I remember a really wretched spike render showing up in PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale? <laughs> Here I, go. I have a confession to make. this because it was so it was so nothing oh bunny monkey picori had a good horoscope today well good 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 for, good for him 
Probably nobody remembers it because it like it was not significant because it was PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale, but <laughs> avid PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale fans will remember uh, that that game had a slightly, I think it was like right before release. Tournament. Uh, PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale, like, like launch celebration tournament. I think it was like the week before it came out or something like that. It was a, and of course, because it's the way of the way the game was played, it was a, it was a uh, team, a, a doubles tournament, a team tournament. I entered it and was there. <laughs> Did you win? No. <laughs> Did not win. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, I didn't do- we, we didn't do bad, me and my team. My- me and my teammate didn't do bad. We didn't get kicked out! We were legitimate. <laughs> I'm the star today! Hee hee hee! We did not get kicked out. Uh, I was playing... Who was I playing as? I might have actually been playing as Raiden. Raiden was in that game, right? I can't even remember anything about the game. I'm pretty sure I played as Raiden and my teammate uh, played as Big Daddy? I think? Thought Raiden was DLC, he might have been. But I think he was like launch DLC. If he was. Uh I am pretty sure that my my teammate played Big Daddy because every time he brought out the little sister, he would yell, throw the lady! <laughs> so that tournament. That tournament was for, for those who remember. Raiden was in, as was the wrong Dante. <laughs> oh, wait. Is there any. Am I doing anything with this, with this bun bun up here? Yep. He's so cute! Uh. If anyone remembers this tournament, I mean, it was streamed at the time. It was like an official, like, Sony-sponsored tournament stream. And nobody realized how long every single match was going to be because of the way that knockouts work in that game. Uh, and so the tournament was not planned correctly <laughs> because nobody knew that every match was gonna be like, like an eternity <laughs> and uh and so I just remembered let me in Squee! I'm so good at driving I just remember it got to like one in the morning and the tournament was still going strong and I was like, are we sure? Like, it's, it's one in the morning and I don't really want to be out that late and everyone was like, I'm sure it'll end soon. And because it was being streamed online, you know, people are in Twitch chat and the whole Twitch chat was like, this is taking forever. Like, how far through the tournament are we? And then I think, I don't think the tournament actually ended because I wanted to stay and watch the the prize get awarded. And I, I don't think, I don't think it ended until like four in the morning. I don't think I, I don't think anybody left till like four in the morning. 
<laughs> and by that point, the people running the tournament were like delirious. <laughs> They didn't expect it was going to take that long either, even though they were, like, involved in making it. They were just like, oh my god. Can we please go home? <gasps> Schmonky. Oh, oh. Spooky X. They're still playing to this very day, honestly. That's how long it felt. Cause you had to you had to like hit somebody and that brought you to level two. And then when you hit somebody again, then you got level three. And I think when you hit somebody when you were level three, that was a knockout. It was it was very strange. It wasn't like HP based or ring out based. It was based on the levels. And so it was <laughs> It was like not at all designed for for like a group of people to have a tournament in real life for it. <laughs> and be able to go sleep that night. <laughs> yeah, you can only kill with supers. Characters at a moderate range on the level ones were high tier because everyone else needed to build two meters to kill. Yeah. Yeah. The, the the two things I remember from the tournament because I was I was so sleep deprived by the end of it that I like did not form memories <laughs> is I just remember my teammate yelling throw the lady every single time he used his little sister move <laughs> and then I also remember Maybe I should wait for them to laugh. At me. Uh, then, then I remember. I remember that the uh, commentators for the tournament were so tired and so like. Oh, he's like he's almost caught up to me. Actually, hold on, I'm gonna wait for him to get here. The commentators for the tournament were so tired and so, like, delirious. I was kind of, like, sitting kind of near where they were so I could hear them talking. And, dude, oh, this motherfucker has tricks. He has tricks. Wait, I can't even get up there? He just glitched. I waited for you. Uh, I was- I was sitting kind of close to them so I could hear and the- the commentators for the tournament were just getting more and more delirious and tired as the night dragged on and there was no end in sight because it's the longest fighting game match known to man. And at one point, one of the- the commentators was like, You know, this game, it's not, you know, it's, it's, it's everything's so dependent on the supers, you kind of- it's a little bit of a game of chance and just seeing what works. You're a little bit of a blind squirrel, if you know what I'm saying. You're like a blind squirrel, but sometimes even a blind squirrel can find a nut. And then he took a long pause and went... <laughs> and went, that's really funny to think about. A blind squirrel. What would that even look like finding a nut? What is he like? Tap tap grass. Tap tap. More grass. Tap tap. Ah, uh, a nut. <laughs> and I was just sitting there and I was like, we're all going fucking crazy. <laughs> like, get these guys out of here. Let them go to bed. I think that one hit around 2 a.m. <laughs> It's just like, it's just like this poor dude.
Yeah, I, I mean, I feel like PlayStation All-Stars could have been something. I'm giving up on this monkey. He's played with me long enough. I feel like it could have been something. It was just, like, not designed for the type of play that people have come to expect from tight fighting games. It's redacted. <laughs> Horace, didn't you, you? Did you? Or were you one of the ones who came to the venue, the newer event, like the esports venue, for that one promotional event that we had to work? Were you there? Was that me? Was that me and other people? Okay, there's schmunkies here. You were there? Okay. Oh, and that was a cr- Oh, he's doing a newscast! Peter Piper picked a prick of- Always willing to try new foods. Uh... Yeah, I mean, so... This was kind of during- during the era where a lot of esports cafes were kind of coming up. In, uh, in the SoCal area. Wait, where's the other guy? Is he, like, on the roof or something? Um, and so at some point, my boss got us hooked up to run like kind of a little promotional event at one of the esports cafes and so they had like a big esports area that you would come to expect uh but they they started running some of the weekly fighting game tournaments in the area at some point i don't think it lasted that long i don't even know if that place is still open uh but it was a really big venue and i was kind of impressed but i i remember we got there and we had to go set up so that people could test out the demo of uh, the game that we brought for the event. And on our drive in, uh, it was so Horace was there and it would have been like one or two other people. We were all negotiating dinner times. Like, okay, who's gonna grab food first? And oh, I'll go second and all of that. And on the way in, I saw a bookstore. Can I break the windows? Where is this guy? Uh, on the way in I saw a bookstore across the street from the eSports cafe. And I was like, oh, I was like, I, I can take dinner later if you guys will let me have a little extra time. I just want to check out this bookstore. Oh, I see. Uh, I was like, yeah, if you guys are cool with me checking out this bookstore, I can I can take the one of the later dinner shifts. And they were like, yeah, 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 that's fine. And so I did, and I went to go check out this cool bookstore that I saw across the street from this esports venue. And I got closer, and I noticed that all of the books were the same. And I was confused and I was like maybe it's like a new release that they're prom promoting and I got closer and then I realized that every single book in the window was Dianetics <laughs> and I didn't realize that the esports cafe was like right next to the church of Scientology <laughs> And I came back to the venue and I was like, I was like, I'm not going to the bookstore. <laughs> I think I'm okay. And everyone was like, oh, was it not good? And I was like, uh, I just don't 
I don't think I have any business there. Maybe I can like... Oh, grab it! Oh, this could be a drug front. Yeah, I, I probably would have felt safer. <laughs> I was like, oh god, I gotta get out of here before anybody gets my picture or something. Why is this shit grabbing it? So I can get there. Is there any way to extend? <gasps> I'm done. <laughs> I walked right by the button. <laughs> I think my favorite, my favorite thing about the venue, though. Oh, look at their roast! They're, they're roasting a banana! Roast banana! Can I take it with me? I think my favorite thing about that, ooh, about that venue was they actually sold alcohol there. And I was like, oh, I'm not going to get, like, too crazy. I'm working. Uh, but I, I went to go check it out and see what kind of drinks they had. And, uh... <laughs> Look at this toasty boy. Go for a roasted banana. I think my favorite thing is I went to go check out... Check out the, the drink menu, because I was just curious what they had. And... They had some drink. They had like one or two drinks on it, but in place of having, oh, is he coming? In place of having a more robust drink menu, the drink menu was mostly a gigantic picture of Alex Vi squinting and holding a shot glass. <laughs> and I was like, I see. <laughs> I see. The, I see the vibe. I understand what we're going for. <laughs> Get fucking low at 1 p.m. He's here. He's here! He's on fire already. He must have done that to himself. I don't think I hit him enough. <laughs> oh. Wait, I... I have another... <laughs> I have another embarrassing... It's not embarrassing for me. I have another story about working an event, but it's embarrassing for Horace and not for me. And it's actually tangentially related to the YouTubers. So I know that, I know that this guy has like talked about Rosemi before. Uh, so we were at another I forget which fighting game tournament it was, but we were holding a demo there at a booth. And it was like me and a couple of coworkers, and I know for a fact Horace was one of them. <laughs> oh no, yeah, you know what's coming. Uh, so. <laughs> we just gotta catch up. So, we were like packing up for the weekend. We had a successful, a successful event. We're packing up all of the, the dev consoles in our booth and stuff. There we go. And I had brought snacks. <laughs> I brought snacks just in case we got hungry at the booth. 
And so, <laughs> we had like a few like bags of pretzels and chips and stuff like that. And a few, uh, like, fighting game dudes. Whoa! <laughs> a few fighting game dudes were sitting nearby just chatting about, you know, how the event went. And I looked over and I was like, oh, you know, there's some people I recognize. And, and one of them was Eris. <laughs> oh, I see. It actually did fall. Maybe I should... Simply turn around. <laughs> uh, one of them was Eris. And so I'm just kind of like smiling and minding my business, packing up. And I notice Horace looking over at them concernedly. <laughs> I just kind of was like, oh, I don't know why he's looking at them like that. Maybe, uh, I don't know if he knows them or something. And I, I just kept going along with my business. And then eventually I saw Horace go over to our snack pile. <laughs> this is probably like, when was this? Like 20, 2015, 2016? <laughs> Horace went over to our snack pile. Picked up a few bags of chips and pretzels and went over and placed them next to Eris and came back. And I was like, what are you doing? And he was like, well, he seems like he might need food. And Instant classic. <laughs> I just remember. I just remember almost turning inside out because I was like, "What are you?" I was like, "What's happening?" Right? Almost there. I'm gonna look through Harris' bonds now to find out. Who, Master Lofi? Oh, big... Oh, banana. Oh, my God. Yeah, I mean, I don't... I don't know. And the, the worst... 
worst part, like, it wasn't just me, it was uh, our other coworker who was there too, who was like more familiar with the community. <laughs> was like, was like Horus. <laughs> you... What? <laughs> we were both just like horrified. <laughs> Looks like he needs food. <laughs> oh, he's shooting. I mean, I'm pretty sure he picked up the snacks afterwards and was just like, okay. <laughs> I was like, please, please don't think that I know the person who just walked up to you. personalities were and I just kept interacting with them normally because I had no idea who they were. I mean, you should just interact with people normally in general. Everyone's just a person, but you don't need to go up and offer people food because you think they need it. Jump! Yeah. Ah! I need to... Got it. Got it. Got it. I'm not just running around feeding people. Wait, what did you do to Maximilian? <laughs> What I definitely was not there. I was just there for the air as well. Which I think about constantly. <laughs> more of a we were in an awkward situation in a line where someone didn't speak English and I had to translate to help out. One more monkey. My friend was like, do you not know who the blonde guy was? Yeah, that one's more, that one's more normal. That one's more understandable. <laughs> you weren't like, <laughs> we're trying to feed people you didn't know. <laughs> Get 
getting got so bad. Oh, jeez. Huh. Hey. Hey. Yes! Namigo. Most of the time, I'm not confusing big esports personalities for the whole list. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. I've recovered. Let's go out with Monkey Panic, the Frozen Promise. Is this gonna be like a Titanic one? 13 more monkeys. Here I go. How was the Nintendo thing? Uh, it was good. <gasps> Action! Jack Rose, I'll never let go. I'm flying, Jack. They could have both fit on the door, and I'm tired of pretending that they couldn't. Ukiyami. <laughs> oh no! It was me. <laughs> It was me up in both of the lifeboat until. Hey, yo. Yo. It was me. Hey. Hey. I might need to make a quick transformation. Yo. Whoops! Jack and Rose, get back here! Be Kupuri. Where did Rose go? So bonetic. <laughs> like Yo. DiCapri, but Bika Puri. Oh, Yo. I get it. Like Leonardo DiCaprion. Okay. I need cookie. White Wizard needs cookie badly. Yeah, what? So there was the... There was the sticker shop game. There was the cat. Yo. Oops. <laughs> Yo. There was exploring the city as the cats game. That, that one looked really cute, actually. That Yo. one looked really cute. I don't want to sound like I have the most advanced hater's mind around. But I was not- I was not enjoying- I was not enjoying the narrators of today's Nintendo Direct. They were kind of like grating on me a little bit. Are you on your last life? I most certainly am. <laughs> I don't know if they've ever had, because they do have, like, voiceover for the Nintendo Directs, but they sounded like new, new people. Like, it wasn't the guy who you always think of who's like, everything will be blasting onto Nintendo Switch later today. It wasn't that guy, it was like two people. And they, they both sounded new, and they were just kind of grating on me, and I was like, who are these? Who are they? Yeah, one... 
One life. One life and a dream. Yeah, there was Anton Blatt. That looked good. <clears throat> the weird Yars Revenge sequel by Way Forward that looks nothing like Yars Revenge. I was excited because it's a Way Forward game. And I tend to like Way Forward games, so I was excited in like a oh yeah, I could see myself playing that kind of way, but I I I didn't really know what to make of it, I guess. It was I feel like I would play it on the merits of it being a way forward title, but I didn't have a lot of thoughts on it just looking at it. They had big Disney Channel TV spot energy. Yeah, <laughs> I guess I bet maybe that was it. Yeah, what else was there? The cat game looks really cute. The cat game looks cute. Yars, I'm like, I'm not not listening, but I need more info. Oh, wait, how do I melt the schmunky? Oh, it's that easy, Icy Mon. What else was there? Now I'm now I'm perplexed. How did I forget already? Nintendo Indie Direct April 2024. Oh, the Ninja Turtles roguelike that looks exactly like Hades. <laughs> Little Kitty Big City. Yeah, that looks cute as hell. I will play the hell out of that. <laughs> Little Kitty Big City looked like the business. Yeah, Yars Rising, I'm like listening, but I'm not sold yet. Refined Self, the personality game. That might be interesting, but it depends on how long it is because it seems like something that would be fun to play a lot of times. Uh, and so if it's like the right length, it might be good. Sticky Business was the sticker game. Anton Blast looks good. Oh, Valley Peaks. That's the uh, mountain climbing game where you're a frog and there's a village of frogs. Lorelei Lorele and the Laser Eyes is a name that I do not particularly like, but the game looked really cool. The Ninja Turtles roguelike. Oh, Europa. Europa was neat looking, but I couldn't really tell, like, what type of game it was, I guess. Cat Quest. I actually have Cat Quest 1 and 2, and I've been meaning to play them, so seeing Cat Quest 3, 3 made me, like, I gotta step up my game. Stitch. Stitch was... I could actually see myself vibing with Stitch. Cause I like puzzle games like that. Bzzzt. That was kind of the Mega Man inspired one. Skim. That was the shadow jumping one. I'm shocked that that's not out yet cause I thought we saw it on Summer Games Fest like last year. Animal Well looks cool. I like the look of it a lot. Oh, Duck Detective looked kind of cute too. Duck Detective, the secret salami. I like I liked the the look of it. Another crab's treasure. And then there was Steam World Heist too. Never played the never played Steam World games. Yeah, when was the cat one? May 9th. That's soon. That's actually... Yeah, that's that's super soon. 
I really want to play the cat one. It looks so cute. How's the game? It's good. I got distracted by trying to remember what the heck was on the Nintendo Direct today. <laughs> The ninja, the ninja is OP, but I'm not complaining. Ninja's holding my hand. I haven't played any of the, any Steam World games, but I don't know. I thought I thought most stuff looked pretty fun. I thought, it, I thought it was overall a strong, a strong little showcase. Penny's Big Breakaway is on sale and they dropped a demo. Was the Switch version the version that was having like a little bit of jankiness? Was, it, was that the Switch version or it was decent? This is so- Oh! <laughs> His pants! That's my good underwear! I'm gonna get him. The Switch version initially ran at 30 FPS. Have they fixed that? They've dropped some patches. Okay. So it's on sale. I'm listening. Because I've actually- I've really wanted to play it. Because I've seen videos and it looks really, really fun. Give it and do it the right way. <laughs> yeah, I I do want to play pennies a lot. <laughs> it felt too easy. I can't get a cookie. No cookies. Okay. Kushachi? But the other consoles are silky. So should I be getting it on like PS5 instead? Oh, Christmas tree! We wish you a Merry Christmas. 
There are no monkeys to film. Where'd they all go? Are they hiding? We need to shoot into the tree? Okay, oh, day ruin. <laughs> I don't know where she is. Thank you for the super chat, Chaffel. I don't know where she is. We were hanging out right before the stream. Oh, I see there's a what? Oh my god. Probably fell asleep. It's Santa Monkey. We gotta go stealth mode. There we go. Oops, did I come at the wrong time? attack <laughs> jolly one not like this where is she give it back give it back you wretch Playing anymore. <laughs> you really got quite a workout there. So the Trojan is totally fine if you're looking for something for your plan. Well, I kind of would want to stream pennies, I think. Oh no, you've come back without your gadget. But everything's okay. Whenever you come back here, your gadget oh, thank God. will also <laughs> come back with you. You see, gadgets are fitted with special sensors. Pretty amazing, isn't it? When are you getting your Duke Varsity jacket? Handled. <laughs> All right. AP Jones? Is this gonna be like Indie Jones? Yumi, check the <gasps> I'm entering new morph data morph. into the morph gear. This morph goes by the name of Genie Dancer. It can let you control a genie that's a dancing machine. You should spend some time getting the hang of it in the training room. Want to go over to the training room to try it out? Yes! Genie Dancer Morph lets you control a genie with mystical powers. When you morph, 
The genie will also be summoned at the same time. Oh my Move god. Move the genie around using the right analog stick. Also, if you rotate the right analog stick, you'll see some interesting actions being performed. Everyone will start dancing, attacking teleborgs and uncatchable monkeys alike. When you use this trick, even hidden monkeys will mindlessly emerge and get right on down. Try getting those stuffed monkeys to dance. Oh my God. Yeah, that's a good idea. I should go save. Sorry. Well done. Okay, now here's how to capture monkeys while you're more. Give the right analog stick a quick press to release the net. Capture all. Uba uba. Doncha. Dao dao. Genie's face looks like a pot of greed. <laughs> That's called a genie jar, a mysterious vessel that only the genie can enter. The jars are arranged in pairs and are set up so that the genie can enter one and warp oh. the other. The genie is able to activate switches. Try pressing the switch opposite the door. I want to send him in there, and he comes up the other side, and then boop. Nice. All right, I'll I'll exit the stage and save. Cause that's a good call. <laughs> she did yell at me to save more, and I didn't listen. Not listening to to Auntie over here. Oh my god. Escape! I'm the one escaping the apes! Alright, lady. Let's save, and then... Also a good call seeing if we can buy lives. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> it would be in the monkey mart, right? Ah, oh, there you go. 300 coins. Morph stock. Let's get... a few. Just so I'm... just so I'm comfortable. Have anything... any mini games yet? Oh, bonus RC cars. All new RC car to try out. Super Monkey Throw Stadium. Spin them and fling them. Secret Game Spinning Sports is yours now. A new RC car. What's a normal chassis? Hold on, I need to try out the mini game now. Super Monkey Throw Stadium. Select Athlete Monkey. Ukitan, Uki Joe, Banana Mon, Chibi Sally, or Pipo Toby. He's the most balanced, I think. In terms of power, balance, and stamina. I'll go with Pipo Joe. Select Hammer Monkey. 
Weight, stamina, and determination. I gotta go with Mumpkin. Perhaps I should have read the rules. <laughs> It was a mini game in which players compete in long distance monkey throwing. Each team is comprised of an athlete monkey and a hammer monkey. The athlete throws the hammer monkey. Spin right analog stick, release in direction of throw. Watch the arrow on lower left of screen and tilt the right analog stick in any direction when the desired angle is indicated. Throw before a timer and lower right reaches zero to avoid a foul. Certain teams of throwers and hammers will be easier to control. Okay, okay. That seems- that all seems easy. Hold on, I can do it. I'll go with Michido this time. He's lighter. He's an easier throw. Oh god, he's dead! <laughs> Data saved separately? That's weird. Alright, well, we're good now. Time for AP Jones. gems down near the bottom of the quicksand pits making me think it wants me to use the hoop. Oh, or I could do a genie. Move the genie around. The genie can collide with objects and try making him dance when you get close to monkeys can be. I assume he's also immune to the sand pits powers. What is he wearing? Oh, he's a little scorpion! 
Ninja reigns supreme once again! Why bother with anything else? Why bother with, with being a genie? This guy just hide in here? It's time to dance. Is that a Shantae transformation? <laughs> oh, he's, he's jamming. He does not look like he wants to jam. Okay, so I stand here. The genie stands. Do it. Oh, he doesn't touch the crap. <laughs> I'm not in the business of asking questions, I'm in the business of getting monkeys. Look at this. Look at this flawless technique. The Temple of the Golden Monkey. I wanted to be on Legends of the Hidden Temple so badly when I was a kid. AP Jones himself! I actually, I got a, a blue Barracudas t-shirt when I was a kid because I was I was trying to manifest. So is he a real monkey? Oh, sure. Golden Mon! We all did. Uh oh, we've triggered the trap. 
Well, it just, it pissed me off because it felt like every kid, every kid who got onto Legends of the Hidden Temple would get to the shrine of the silver monkey and be like, I am gonna cram this head. Crazy old mon. <laughs> like, I'm gonna cram this monkey's head onto his feet. Even though it makes no sense and is not structurally sound, this is what I have decided is the truth. Oh God. <laughs> so you're like sitting there and you're like, I can do it. If I got to the shrine of the silver monkey, I would simply put it together flawlessly. <laughs> Town now. Does he have a gun? Hold on. <laughs> oh, whoa, he sure does. Ooky Jets! Me and the boys and Ooky Jeff. Maybe the feat is the truth regarding live-action Nickelodeon lore back in the day. Oh, God. Uki Jeff will give you Dreadwolf access. I have June 7th marked on my calendar. I'm not... Go, oh, God! I am not going to stop coping for one single second until June 7th has come and gone and I do not have a Dreadwolf to show for it. As far as I'm concerned, that is the day that I'm getting news. So, sorry to everyone in advance for what I'm gonna be like. <laughs> so sorry. Maybe the earliest case of streamer debuff. I saw I saw something about a calculation of the stats, and there was like a pretty clear I forgot who it was. I don't think it was the blue barracudas. What was it? It was the blue barracudas. The red monkeys. The Oh god! The purple parrots. The orange iguanas. Green monkey. Okay, green monkey. Oh, it was red. Streamer debuff specifically on the Shrine of the Silver Monkey made me fucking crazy. Because people, it was like all you had to do was put the body on the feet and then just slide the head's weird long pole thing. Oh. Slide the, the head's weird long pole thing into the the body and the feet and you're done. But for some reason, kids would just grab the head and start jamming it into the feet. And I was like, come on now. If it was me, I, I would simply win. Hey, Genghis Mon! <laughs> if it was me, I would get up there and rip it. Green monkey, orange iguana, silver snakes, blue barracuda, red jaguars, purple parrots, in order from best to worst. <laughs> Wait. 
but if it releases like a week before then, I'm not gonna complain about it. The sooner I get Dreadwolf, the happier I am. <laughs> <laughs> Even if I have to bring it to to Jeff personally. Even if me and Jeff have to have a long, hard conversation about not letting me down. <laughs> Dancing Mia. Oh, is that it? The kids fumbled the silver monkey because they had to build backwards. Yeah, but it's not that hard. Just turn it around. <laughs> I would so I would just do better. <laughs> I was really scared of the temple guards though. Defeat capture defeat slash capture monkey pink Here I go You know who can get to Jeff on Dreadwolf's behalf? A stage? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are Bill Clint. <laughs> the diva of the freaky monkey five. That's the Her diva of the freaky monkey five. Monkey oh my god. Wait just a minute. They say you caught yellow, right? Uh, well, yeah, I guess. Good for you. Well, you're pretty good. You're aren't pretty you? good. Oh, no, it's nothing. I. But I'm sorry to say there's only room for one at the top. Eh? I sing, I dance, I even act. It's only natural that I be the one at the top. And now, my first musical. Watch and know that you will never be as great as I. Uh-oh. She's got backup dancers. No, oh, she's got me dancing. Interrupter. Damn it! 
Oh, I see. She like rages. And goes way more ham. When I ruin her. <laughs> She's pissed! Move your body! <laughs> and she chases you down! train now I'll come back for you I'll come back stronger than ever you you've destroyed my dreams of becoming a superstar you'll pay for this I swear you will hey where'd she go you me looks like that one got away <sighs> but at least the Spectre TV broadcasts have stopped in this area so I guess you've done well she's too strong that? Yeah! Okay! You're mine! You interrupted her entire musical debut! My genie just wanted her to move her body! Well, that is just awesome! One might say that ape escaped! <laughs> Tomoki, has Pink come back? No, she hasn't actually. <laughs> now, where could she have gone off to? Monkey Pink had some pretty good songs, but you know what? I like Yumi's better. Thanks! Pity she managed to get away. Still, you were able to stop the broadcast anyway. Better luck next time. All right, let's. I want to see what monkey birthdays we got. She wrote this whole song and dance number, and you rolled in with your boo box blasting. Move your body. Oh, Uki X. Uki X is my is my fortune. Lucky spot backyard. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. Love look navigate well. What does that mean? Lucky item is a shamrock. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. Your hard work will pay off soon. Wow, thank you. Today is March 3rd, 2000. <laughs> All right, give me, give me, give me birthdays. Crazy old mod. Look at him. Wow, pre-recorded. <laughs> Give me a month later. Oh, we don't have him yet. 9.15. We don't have 9.15 yet. 
Still so many monkey we don't have. Give me nine eight if you have it. I don't have it. <laughs> Are the bosses on this? Yeah, Monkey Blue is nine eleven. Lucky Spot is a musical. Love Luck, Dream to Reality, and Lucky Item is Blue Chalk. Time to forget the past. <laughs> Whoa! 12.30. Nothing. Maple, it's so cute. It's March 3rd, 2000. Wow, so true. <laughs> Genghis Mon <laughs> on July 4th. Lucky Spot is the floating market. Love luck. Rumors everywhere. Lucky item is monkey helmet. Overall luck, don't pick at the scab. <laughs> Here's monkey yellow. Lucky spot is the bat the batting center. Love luck, don't pout. Lucky item is an elastic band. And beware of oversleeping. We have 229. No. Missing all the ones we need. Get the astrological forecast. You got Scorpio's name, Scorpimon. Oh, it's him! Okay, so they have like, he's the mascot. Good fashion starts with a well-coordinated monkey helmet. Scorpios take notes. For Aquarius, you'll be okay. Things will work out. Just go with the flow. For Aries, he's so cute. Now's a good time to warm yourself up with some hot banana soup. You need to expose yourself. Someone will come to you with troubles. Give them positive advice. Beware blue things. They will cause you trouble. It's all of our astrological advice. We're still missing a bunch. And then, of course, the love fortune. Hold on, do we know Ocelot's- not Ocelot, do we know Otacon's birthday? I just know it's in 1980. That's useless to me. has his birthday. What about the actor's birthday? Oh. 
Christopher Randolph birthday. <laughs> Damn it. Doesn't have his actual birthday. Oh, oh, oh. Oh no, this is a different Christopher Randall. Damn it! <laughs> I'm getting got it every single. Hold on. The Patriots are suppressing his info. June 19th? Where did you get this from? Where did we obtain this information? I found it. Uh, Fresh on stream. There's probably gonna be so how many how many weeks do I have before? Must be the 59 year age cap. <laughs> I only have next week and the week after before I leave for Japan. Uh, and I wanna do the shopping list making, like right before. So maybe next week I'll do Metal Gear memes? I figure it out. Um... But yeah, I'll pro I think I'm gonna wrap it here for tonight because it feels like maybe we're on the... to the final boss rush type of situation because we just beat Monkey Pink. Um, but on Friday, uh, on Friday, Kuduko and I, on Twitch, uh, Kuduko and I are going to be doing, uh, Horizon Forbidden West lore, another lore stream. Um, that was like, that was one of our first collabs, I think, way back in the day, we did a lore stream right before Forbidden West came out uh, where we basically kind of did a here's here's the lore of Horizon Zero Dawn that's important to catch up on before you go into Forbidden West and, and here's the theories for Forbidden West. Um, so now that we've both beaten Forbidden West and all the DLCs and everything, we're gonna we're gonna do a Forbidden West lore stream where we kind of review that and then talk about theories for the next game. So uh, it's gonna be Friday on Twitch. Make sure to check the mod chat sometimes. Something you should do pertaining to stream and VODs on YouTube. Whoa. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha, I'll take a look. <laughs> Otherwise known as Mabel wants to flex on everyone's stream. <laughs> it's just, I mean, I do have an entire section called My Theories You All Laughed At, so yeah, a little bit. <laughs> 
<laughs> Any more emotional support Fox trees? Maybe after... Maybe after Japan, because I want we're doing lore stream this week, and then I have lots of stuff I'm trying to cram in before I leave the the country for a schmidge. Uh, but there's definitely some spooky stuff I want to play. So. <laughs> and and I think one of Horace's redeems is is spooky, so I may need I may have I have need of her services. <laughs> And yeah, I'll, um... Yeah, I'll probably put out the P.O. box once I finish. I want to finish packing because I'm trying to write, like, notes for all of the packages. Uh, so, I'll, I mean, I, I definitely, my, my entire goal is to get stuff shipped before I leave for Japan so that it's done and, and out the door. Before I am. <laughs> um, and so I'll probably put out PO, my P.O. box once I ship those off just so I can kind of do it all at once. Uh, I'm just playing catch up right now with stuff I'm trying to get done before my trip <laughs> and staying on top of Staying on top of stuff. Staying on top of, uh... What was I gonna say? Uh, things like getting my PC sent back. <laughs> A lot happening! <laughs> A lot... A lot happening, but I can... I can manage it. We'll get through. Writing down my list of Bufanos to jump scare people with. I should make, I will, that'll be one thing I've, I've been meaning to do and I'll do it before I go to bed tonight is make a Japan trip channel with a thread for talking about like shopping lists and stuff. Will that ever get fixed? Uh, no. And I'm gonna be real with you. So they, they actually, they actually emailed me. And this was before they emailed me and they were like, yeah, we think it's going to need to come back to us. Can you basically check one more thing before you, before we give you the details on sending it back? Can you check one more thing? And if it doesn't work, then you'll send it back to us. And I said, okay, sounds good. So I did the thing and it didn't work. And I was like, okay, guys, it didn't work. Time to send it back. And then they got back to me and they were like, actually, we're going to have you do one more thing. And I was like, okay. And I, frankly, I do not understand what they want me to do now. I would like to have you reseat the GPU and the GPU power cables in your system and see if that helps the issue at all. If that does not, I want to see if you have an older GPU or one that you could borrow to test in your system to see if we can confirm if this is a GPU issue or not. Are they asking me to physically work inside the computer to try and fix it? Like, that's why I wanted to send it back. <laughs> I can't do that, so I don't know why they're asking me to. Uh, so I'm figuring out how I'm gonna handle it. Uh, maybe I could have my friends do it, actually, since they're gonna be here anyway. And they're smarter than I am about tech stuff. I think they're asking you to open the PC to unplug and plug the GPU back in. Yeah, I'm just like, I'm just like, guys, the whole point is I couldn't build the computer myself. I would like it if you did this part of it. Like I've done all the software tests that they've asked of me and I've sent video footage and I did some private streams that I 
have like either like private streams up on YouTube that I send them links to, and it's literally just me sitting here like running a bunch of games in silence. <laughs> so I'm just like, I'm like, I did all of that, and I've done it over the course of months. Please don't make me do surgery on my PC. That's the whole thing I've been trying to avoid. <laughs> <sighs> Do you put your model up? Yeah. I mean, they know. Nah, like, this is all under under my my own, like, VTuber Gmail. So, like, I'm talking to them as Maple. <laughs> they say, hey, Maple. <laughs> it's not, I'm not making, like, a secret of it. Uh, yeah, it's... I mean, the streams are probably actually pretty funny because it's it's literally just me like opening up Black Mesa, like running around in a room in circles on potato quality for like two minutes, <laughs> just like staring in silence at the screen. Yeah, well, I mean, I told them I was like, I like OBS and VTube Studio working at the same time as any game that I want to play is non-negotiable. Like, that's the whole point of the PC. So if that doesn't work, then it, it's not, then it's worthless to me. So. Um. Uh. But yeah, so I've. And then they were like, oh, can you run, like, VTube Studio by itself with a game, and then OBS by itself with a game, and see if that changes everything? And I was like, yeah, it's, like, obviously slightly better, but I need them both to run at the same time, you know? Um... I love the do you have another GPU lying around question, though. Yeah, I was like, what, what am I supposed to do with that? Like, of course I don't have another GPU lying around. If I did, I'd build my own computer! <laughs> if I was capable of doing any of the things you're asking me to do... I would have done them already. This is a known company that does pre-builds? Yeah, and I've... Like, I looked up reviews and stuff before I bought mine, because I wanted to I wanted to make sure that I was you know buying something solid and all of the reviews were good and so I'm confused why this is happening to me <laughs> I don't know why I got the one that doesn't work <sighs> but yeah so that's like I've been trying to kind of keep that stuff moving while also keeping all the stuff on my to-do list moving while also getting ready for Japan, but... Um... Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, that's the thing is, like, I've had it for so long and I can't get it to work and... I'm just like, guys, just take it back. <laughs> like, I'm tired. I'm honestly... Honestly, I've spent so much time trying to get it work that... in terms of, like, time is money sort of valuation, I've probably spent as much time as the computer is worth trying to get it to work. And at this point, I'm just like, I'm done. I'm done with it. I just don't care anymore. I don't want it. <laughs> Take it back. Like, I don't want to have to mess with the GPU myself. The whole point is I'm not good at that stuff. So that's why I paid somebody else to do it. I would simply lie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll send them an email. There's a lot to take care of before I go on my trip, so I'm just trying to figure everything out, keep everything schmoovin'. But it'll be good. It'll be good. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, honestly, at this point, if... If I send it back... 
Like, I hate to say it, but if I send it back... And... And then they email me and they're like, we fixed it, it's working amazingly. I'm... I'm not going to have a lot of faith in that. <laughs> like, I don't know, it sounds really mean, but it's just like, it's... It's been so... It's been such a pain in the ass at this point that I... I don't know. It's been such a pain in the ass and I honestly just like... I'm tired of it and don't want it anymore that I'm... That I'm just like... Uh, <laughs> just take it away. <laughs> but who knows? Who knows? We'll see what happens. I'm just frustrated about the GPU thing because I'm just like, that is so not what I signed up for. <laughs> is not what I signed up for. If you're gonna make me do this work, then refund some of it. <laughs> oh, but yeah. Sorry for being frustra frustrated. It's just like, ugh. I just need it done. I need it done so I can move on to other bigger and better stuff. So. But yeah, so, uh, I'm gonna wrap it up, but make sure, make sure to come to, uh, the lore stream on, on Friday with Kuduko. If you, uh, if you want to know lore about Horizon or if you just want me to yell at you for three hours and be completely insufferable because I was correct about everything and everybody made fun of me. <laughs> I'm never gonna let anybody live it down. I will beat this dead horse until it's not a horse anymore. <laughs> But yeah, thank you guys for coming. I'll see you on Friday for the lore stream and yelling at everybody. <laughs> and until then, have a good rest of your night or your morning or your afternoon or whatever it is, wherever you are. And Otsu, get ready to get yelled at.